Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. I'm your host on the fourth Friday of every month talking about business and entrepreneurship and how to be successful with your business here in Las Vegas. My next guest is Katie Wofford. She's an established fashion stylist and style expert from Hollywood whose talent has graced the red carpet for numerous events such as the Academy Awards, Golden Globe, Independent Spirits Awards, Comic-Con, The Today Show, and my personal <laughs> favorite on this list, The Conan O'Brien Show. There's, there's a lot more to this list. I actually cut some of it down, so, so I know. It's getting a little long, but <laughs> Katie is coming to us to, in Las Vegas by way of Nashville. And then before you were in Nashville, you spent 13 years in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and you've been featured in, your clients have been featured in InStyle Magazine, Glamour Magazine, and some of them have even been put on some of these prestigious best dress lists that you hear about. Yes. So, so Katie's a real deal. She knows what she's <laughs> doing. She's done this for celebrities. And now she's going to tell us today how she can use her styling talent, her personal styling talent to help women entrepreneurs, women women, and women in business on a personal level to develop their personal brand and their personal style. Thank you for being here today, Katie. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here today. Yeah. So tell us how you got started as a stylist. Was this something you did when you were a kid? Was it, how'd you get here? Um, it's, it's a, it's a fun story. I've always naturally was doing it in my brain. I didn't realize that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But if you look back at photos when I was in high school, I was always just so enamored with it. And then um, I moved out to LA when I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. I was a professional dancer at the time doing ballet, okay. jazz, tap, hip hop. Okay. Um, and then so I just worked in the entertainment business for years trying to figure out what I wanted to do in life. And I think this is a really key point for business or aspiring business owners or people who are in business is like I couldn't find what I wanted to do what I love to do in life. And I was mm -hmm. really lost for a long time. And then as fate would have it, one day, I ha when I was tr actually 23, I had a, um, a girlfriend say, hey, would you assist me on this German cell phone commercial that was featuring Snoop Dogg? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Sure, okay. And so that was like my first official time on set. That was my first okay. time. And that was really the moment that I was, I had like, I was, I had the instincts that I was like, I think I'm going to do something. I didn't actually officially realize I was going to do it until a few years later. You have to be ready for success. And yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't quite ready then for a lot of different reasons. So um, again, fast forward till about 28, I was, just really wanting to find my passion. And mm -hmm. then I just like found a website. It said, this is how you take a crash course on how to do it. Uh -huh. And I will tell you, when I started to tell everybody, hey, I think I'm going to be a fashion stylist, I had the most support from everybody. And it was like, I knew I was home in some weird That's way. Awesome. And I've just always had a career since day one. I started out with business women, mm -hmm. um, executives, and my career has just been a dream. It's just taken me all over the world. I mean, I've just done things that I never knew that I was going to achieve. And, and so, yeah, I love what I do. That is, that is outstanding. So what, what is something you learned your first day on set? with Snoop Dogg in a German <laughs> cell phone commercial with one of your best friends in this commercial? What What's something you took away? Because I imagine that was an intimidating experience to start with. I didn't, you know, I didn't get intimidated by it. I, I learned how small his waist really is. Um, <laughs> he's well, like, you, you heard it here, folks. We are, we're going to get emails now. So. His waist is like itty bitty, right? Like teeny <laughs> tiny. Um, just... Uh, uh, how quick you have to think on your toes with it mm -hmm. because you can only be so prepared for the job and then all of a sudden like the director may come up and say I want to change this and you've got to make it happen and you've got to make it happen in 10 minutes and you know because they've got to get onto the next shot because mm -hmm. it's a production schedule and they only have so much time because they're paying everybody. That's that's outstanding. And the Air Force, we always said flexibility is the key to air power. And it sounds like that may be the key to to fashion styling on a cell phone commercial. <laughs> so yeah. that's it's good to see that the lessons apply everywhere. One of the things that really stood out to me in your bio mm -hmm. is that you really believe in helping your clients uh, impress upon the world who they are without even saying a word. Just mm -hmm. when they walk into a room, how do you help them do that? What do you What do you look for in your clients? What do you How How do you see them, get to know them, and help them do that? I loved this question when you uh, sent this to me. I yeah, we do homework here. We don't just wing it. <laughs> I always start out with what's called style development, right? Okay. Like you've got to build your brand. And so how you do that is how I do that is getting to know my client on a mm -hmm. very intimate level. And it just depends on where somebody's at. And so I simply start with a questionnaire, but I try to get to understand their personality on a deep 
deepest level that I can mm -hmm. to be able to go literally out and find that piece that literally says, this is Katie at her best to make mm -hmm. her feel the best without, so that way you're not worried about like, am I overdressed? Am I underdressed? When you go have a meeting with the client so you can close that deal. So you just feel so empowered about yourself. So that's always the end goal. And it's just figuring out where that client's at. So that way that they are growing in this naturally mm -hmm. and, and developing their vocabulary, if you will. Yeah, I love that when you told me about the, vo the, the style vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, right? Because it's like we all speak a language mm -hmm. and whatever your native tongue is, but we are all speaking the language of who we are each day. And you do that by through what you wear because we actually communicate 93% more non-verbally than we do actually oh, verbally. So, you know, you, what you wear is a very impactful thing that you're going to be when you're going into business. Outstanding. Well, it sounds like you're helping people really get in touch with who they are mm -hmm. and then to be confident showing them, showing the world who they are while they improve their, their style vocabulary and, and branch out and, and uh, to pull on the vocabulary analogy, learn more more words, more more yeah. specific words to represent how they're feeling and what they're trying to accomplish. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So tell us about your new, relatively new <laughs> e-styling business that you've put together. Yeah. You know, I learned so much in LA from like working with incredibly wealthy clients out of Beverly Hills to celebrities and stuff like that. I really learned skills and techniques that eat like that, that I was feeling like the women wanted. And then when I researched Stitch Fix, obviously it's a huge, like $700 mm -hmm. million dollar business. Right. And for her to have hit, had that level of success, it really like identified that like, this is what women want. Women want really somebody that can give them that personal touch. The challenge is, is what, what they do is that you're not actually working with a real fashion stylist that's mm -hmm. actually technically done everything. So that's where I have customized my e-styling business called Style Retainer mm -hmm. to where now I wanted this to be affordable for women, no matter where you're at from New York to Seattle, Florida, Los Angeles, and everywhere in between to be able to work with, with a real stylist myself, to be able to properly build you a wardrobe that does the correct transaction for you in your mm -hmm. business. Okay, great. Yeah. So how how can someone get started with you? What do they what do they need to know? What do they need to bring to you uh, to start that conversation with you? And and what do they need to know about themselves to start that conversation with you if they want to work with you through through a style retainer? It, it's a good question. It just simply is the desire that they want to do this. Okay. And if they want to do this, then email me through my website, katie at katiewatford.com. Okay. And then from there, we'll set up a free consultation and talk and really start to delve more into your fashion personalities and okay. getting a little bit more of a breakdown of your brand to see you know, what would be a good fit for you. Okay. And you're just working with women right now. Yeah. I mean, I have one male client, but you know, okay. I mean, I always say I help men too because mm -hmm. I'm making the wife happy. So happy wife, happy life. Yeah. You know? that's, that's what I hear. So, <laughs> so, uh, so like my business is 99% women. Okay. So sorry guys. Sorry guys. Okay. Katie's probably not the right person for you today, maybe in the future, but if you're really interested, hit us up here at the show. I'm sure Katie can give you a great referral for whether you're in Las Vegas or somewhere else. She can help you out. And, I'll and talk point to a right man. I, I, I'm not saying like, it's just my, the foundation of what most of my tier, material is around women. But okay. if, if a guy's really like, Katie, I need some help. I want to grow my business. Like help me just, I don't want to have to think about it. I'm not I, like, I, and the vibe's right. Like I'm totally willing to talk All to right. him. Well, forget what I said, guys. <laughs> don't hold back. Get in touch with Katie. So, <laughs> Um, you aren't just making this up as you go along. You've actually been to school to do this fashion and not just the, the style piece of fashion, but you learned, I remember watching a video with you as I was prepping for this interview where you talked about that introductory business course mm -hmm. at your, at your mm -hmm. style school. Mm -hmm. And so what are, what are some of the elements of business that you feel that you feel like you've had to learn and that are really strong at in addition to the style aspects? I mean, the number one key thing in business is like, is a sales, but is your relationships. And so you, it's, there's that old fashioned saying, it's, it's who, you know, Absolutely. but it's also, I heard a bartender years ago say this and I loved them. And he always said, my dear, it's not who, you know, it's who knows you. Love and it. I loved that spin on it because, you know, and, and it is like, you have to have a lot of really strong relationships mm -hmm. in order to grow your business to the next level. So, I mean, obviously like understanding the technicality of what I do. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I also personally work a lot with like 
personality traits. It's beyond just outside clothes. Okay. So relationships um, is a key, a key, key element that I think people really take for granted. Okay, great. We we talk a lot about that on, about that on this show. Is build your team around you, build those relationships. Yeah. It really is important. Nobody does this alone. Nobody does. So okay. So in the in the few seconds we have left, okay. you talked about the web. You talked about the email and the website. How else can our viewers get a hold of you? Uh, at, through social media, you can go to Instagram at Katie Watford. Um, so, and then obviously through my website, it's just it's yeah. easily send an email too. So. Okay, and the website is great. Very, very beautiful website. Uh, you thank have. you. So I really, I really enjoyed it. All right, well, Katie, stay right here. We're gonna bring Dwayne and Sean back. We're gonna have our panel discussion and cool. talk a little bit more about business in general in the Las Vegas area. Cool. And uh, I'm Jason LaDuke. I almost forgot what I was going <laughs> to say here. I'm Jason LaDuke, and we will be back with our panel discussion in just a few minutes. This is Geeks Are Sexy.